Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this spring. So I saw a video on YouTube uh, with something similar and I thought let me let me do one. Um, it's a skill that I just recently learned where we combine two curves into this gradual um, curve between the two of them. So that's why we've got this nice smooth curve coming out of the spring into the hook. So follow along and see how you go. So to get this one started, I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane. So create sketch, select the top plane, and we will create an arc. Can use center point or three point. Uh, it's really up to you. So I want this to be 30. I'll select 30 and then swing this around to 90 degrees. You can either dimension it now or afterwards. I'm going to use a horizontal constraint from this point to the origin and then from this point to center of our circle so that or of our arc so that that lies horizontal and then we will just dimension this from the origin. 30 millimeters. So there we can see it's fully constrained. What we're going to do now, we're going to create a sketch on the front plane. Okay, and we're going to go center, <coughs> center point arc. We're going to start off at the origin. Have it snap to the origin there. It's going to be 30 millimeters. So you'll see it coincides with that one there, and it's going to be 90 degrees. So now that is also fully constrained. What we do next, something I, I only recently learned, I'm going to create a sketch on this front plane again. But we're going to go and use something in the Project Include menu called Intersection Curve. So here we highlight the two curves that we want to use and it creates a nice intersection there for us. So we got this curving down from that point. Now if I <coughs> turn off my sketches, those original two, we're left with this. So what I want to do now is create a new plane. So I'll construct a plane. It'll be should be 60 millimeters you can type in 60 or you can say extend to object and select that so there you see it's 60 millimeters okay now on this plane <coughs> make sure we selected the right plane I'm going to create a circle from this it's going to be 60 millimeters one way to just type in 60 or I could say P project this point and we could have our circle snap to that projected point there it snaps to it 60 millimeters okay so if I look at it from this angle I've got this gradual curve flowing off of the circle going in an upward angle what I'm going to do now is we're going to create a coil so if you're going to create and coil, we can select this center point there and I'm going to make it 60 millimeters. So it's the same diameter as our circle. And then I want this in the opposite direction. And I only want it to be 150, so I'll go minus 150. Diameter 60. That's a bit big. So we could see it wasn't able to create it because uh, the profile was too big for the number of revolutions I was putting in. If we look here, we're wanting this curve that we've created to come off of 
the spring. So I'm going to just click root rotation over here. Now it's changed it so that that center point runs nicely off of there. And it's a new body create. So now that center point is in line with the new curve we've created. Now I want to create a new sketch. Just make sure we're on the right plane. Yep, on this plane here. And I'm going to create a center point arc again. I'm just going to project this. And then center point arc. Now as I touch on this line, it'll give me a line drawing off of it. So I'll drag this around. Um, you drag this as far as you want your hook to go. If we had a technical drawing, we'd draw it according to that specification. So now I'm just dimensioning this. It's already on 30, so that's perfect. Now if I finish sketch, we've got this flowing line. Now all we need to do is sweep that path. So I'm going to go create and sweep. And I'll select this profile, the end of the spring that we've done, or the coil. Doesn't seem to have selected the sweep tool. There we go. So the profile we will select is this one. And then the path will be these lines that we've created. So we can see that curves around nicely with no um, sharp lines or anything. I'm going to make a new body. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this on the other side. So I want to create a plane in the middle of the spring so I can mirror this across there. So let's construct a plane. So this, this plane is 60 millimeters from that point. So if I go 60, I will be at that origin. I want it to be um, 60 plus 75 because that's what I made. I made my spring link 150, I think. Let me just double check that. So you can go into your timeline over here. Just double click on your. Yep, there we go. I made the height 150. So now I will go into constructor plane. Select the correct plane. And the distance will be. 60 plus 75, which is 135, I think. Well, we'll soon see if that's right. And we can just mirror. I'll go mirror tool. And select this body. Now we've selected the object we want to mirror. We then select the mirror plane. Okay, so I did my maths correctly. I can see it's sitting there nicely in line. Also a new body. What you see now, it is an exact mirror um, and it's actually the coil is in the wrong direction. So what I'm going to do is actually mirror this again, but around a different plane. So if I click mirror, I'll select this body and then the plane I'll select will be this plane. So. I'll just make that a new body or else it will join it to the body we've mirrored. So now if we go into bodies, you can see I've got that new body, I've got that one, and then the spring and the other head. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine them, select the three bodies, and now it's putting it into one body. I'll just rename this spring. So if we turn our, our planes off, let's turn the sketches off as well. 
you can see we've got a lovely spring it's got a nice gradual curve that turns into this hook um, if we didn't have that we would have had sharp edges here which isn't really what a spring looks like so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you want to leave a comment you can do that in the comment section if you want to get in touch with me you can email me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com my email is in the description until next time bye